Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Gabriella Quinones and I'm here with another video, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here in front of a camera. Anyways, um, no, I'm not naked. <laughs> um, I'm wearing um, a long sleeve. I rolled up the sleeves. I'm wearing a long sleeve um, shirt that has a collar. It's super cute. Hold on, y'all. I need to... Okay. Nope, don't put that in my shot. Okay. Oh, I did not turn on my light. Okay. Well, let me stop this and figure out my lighting situation, and then I'll show you the cute shirt. <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> fixed it. <laughs> okay, so here's the cute shirt, if I could get them. Look at these cute little pants. Okay, I got these from JCPenney, and I got this cute shirt from JCPenney, too. It's like off the shoulders. It has like this weird little thing, but I don't care because it's super cute. And then um, on the back, it's like it connects. Hopefully you can see the uh, over here like it connects. And then it has like three buttons right here. Oh, yes, queen. It's so cute. Love it. Okay, so for this video. Okay, for this video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup that I got for Christmas and um, I didn't get like a full full face like I didn't get foundation or anything but um I did get like um like blush and mascara eyeliner um you know stuff like that and I'm going to right off the bat oh I'm out of breath um, right off the bat, I'm going to say that this is not sponsored by LA Colors. Um, it just so happens that every single thing that I got is from LA Colors. Um, it's just, you know, it's just how it is. Um, contour stick. I've never contoured before, so this is going to be, um, really interesting. So I'm going to be contouring for the first time in this video. Um, okay, this is body spray, but you don't need that. Let's see, we got some matte lip colors and some pencil eyeliners. So we're going to be going in with, I already moisturized my face and I already um, primed the skin. So we're just going to be going straight into foundation. Like I said, I did not get a new foundation. Oh. I did not get any foundation um, for Christmas. So I'm just going to be using um, the Sephora, the Sephora liquid foundation in this shade. 20 clear light. So we're just going to take a pump or two of that. Ooh, I'm running out. Okay, I took three and a half pumps. That's fine. Whatever. And I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And it looks like this. Uh, so we're just going to be going in with eyes. And I like to be going in with uh, like patting and swiping motions at the same time because I feel like when you swipe it takes away the product and it like makes it all streaky and stuff um, but sometimes you just have to swipe in order to get the product where you want it. Um, I like to pat it on but I feel like if you pat it then it like I don't know, it leaves streaks too, and it's just, I don't know. I like to go in with patting and swiping motions. I know some people like to do, like, swirling motions. Mm -mm, I can't do that. Like, my face will literally not allow me to do that. Like, not my face. Like, my conscience can't allow me to, like, swipe the foundation all over my face. Like, it just... No. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So we're just gonna cover up all these pimples. Nasty, nasty. If you guys can comment down below, like, an affordable, um like a skincare routine like maybe one or two products or something that you guys use that are super affordable affordable uh to get rid of acne that would be great just comment down below because uh, my skin has been out of control recently with acne and i have no idea what to do with it because i don't have money so i can't be like going to clinic and getting that little acne control set you know oh did i just get it on my shirt oh, that would suck it's my neck <laughs> i should probably put my chest though okay so I have a lot of foundation on my hands, so we're just going to put some extra coverage where the acne is. So, which is mostly on my forehead. Which, I don't know why, but like, whatever. I'm going to go in and double check to make sure that everything is blended. 
you really want to take a like if you're really up close to your mirror you really want to take a step back and look to make sure that everything's blended and if you're really far away from your mirror you want to take a step forward to make sure that everything is blended. So then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. concealer. It's a duo with the highlighter. It's a duo with the highlighter and the concealer and I'm going to go in with the concealer. And this doesn't have a shade. I don't know, it's probably like light or something. And then we're just going to go in with this. We're going to make little triangles under our eyes. Go back in and do that. And the bridge of art. I got it in my pants! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. And on the bridge of our nose. On our chin. And our forehead. And I don't like to go in, um, above my upper lip area, like right here, because, um, your girl got pimples. I mean, not pimples. Your girl got a mustache, and she don't like to have that emphasized, but we will go down our jawline with this. Oh. I'm blend this in with my finger, starting where I first placed the product in, because this dries kind of fast, and so you want to start blending where it was the, like, the first place that you put it, because then it's, like, the least one to... You know what I mean, like it just makes sense, okay? Like if you're gonna like, don't blend like the last thing you just put down because then like the first thing you put down is gonna be dry and it's just gonna be like a whole situation. So just, just listen to me and blend the first thing you put down first. You know what I'm saying? Just gonna keep blending and you want to blend, especially like around your eye area, you want to blend with your ring finger because that's the finger that you have the less control of and it's the finger that's gonna hurt. It's gonna like, it's not gonna cause any like badness under your eyes because your eyes are the most sensitive part of your whole face. Also, my lips are like really crusty right now because <laughs> I went to Ulta and I was testing this lipstick. I like this lip color and uh, it was like stuck to my lips. Like that, mm -mm. I had to work hard to get that off. And the Ulta that I go to for some reason doesn't have like water and like makeup removers like where they're supposed to be. So I actually put alcohol on my lips and it dried out my lips like almost instantly. It was a disaster. To go in with these um, cream contour sticks um, there's a light contour, a highlighter, and a medium contour. Um, I'm probably going to be going in with the light contour. But it looks like, oh this is what the packaging looks like. It looks like that. And they come in like this. Okay, so this is the light contour stick. This is the highlighting stick. And this is the dark contour stick. So, so we're going to go in with the light contour stick. And we're going to contour. Oh. It doesn't smell like anything. Okay, so... Did I do that right? No, I didn't. That does not look right. Oh, there it is. That's where it's supposed to be, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. I don't even know if you can, I don't even know if you would be able to see that one to blend it out. I don't even know what to use to blend it out. I'm just going to try to use my finger and see what happens. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm really scared to be going in with the dark contour shade, but I think I'm probably going to have to do that. <sighs> oh, that's actually not that dark. I really hope they have other uh, shade packaging. Oh, crap. Okay, I did that one too high. You see? Look. Yep. Okay, well, let's just make this a little higher. Does that look about even? Okay, and then we're just gonna bring it down. That. Oh, wow. That's so not even. But, like, it's fine. You know, whatever. We're just gonna blend this out with our fingers. And I think we're supposed to be blending downwards or are we supposed to be blending upwards? I have no idea. On the camera, like it looks insane on the camera. And then we're gonna blend out this one. See, I don't think you're supposed to blend it upwards because if you blend it upwards, then it's gonna get all into your blush and your highlights. I think you're supposed to blend it downwards, right? Girl, I don't know what I'm doing. Or boy, you know, whatever. Do my cheeks look chiseled out? 
I've never contoured before, in case you haven't noticed. So, I think that's how you do it, right? Mm. Mm. Okay. So, our forehead, my forehead is pretty small, so we don't really need to do a lot of contouring on our forehead, or on my forehead at least. But we're just gonna do this to test out the product. Both lines like that, and I'm just going to blend it around like that. Did I just wipe away all of the product? It's the same. I mean, okay, let's do that. Let's do bigger lines like that. Let's see what happens. Blend it into our hairline. That's what you gotta do. I know that much. <laughs> okay, okay, I can see something being done. I can see something. Okay. Looking, looking good, I think. Uh, uh, nope, we gotta contour our nose. Never done this before, so I'm gonna do one side up close to see if I can. Oh, okay, let's see. I can do this right. Okay. Now for the side that you can see. And that, folks, is how you get a crooked nose. Gonna do that. Like that. And then we're gonna do that. Perfect. Is that what you do? <sighs> Y'all, I really, I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god, this is like. Okay, this you gotta blend down like this. As to not disturb. Oh, my nose is running. To create the illusion of a smaller nose by shadow stuff. Oh, that looks good. I mean, hopefully it looks good because my boogers, my boogers are coming out, no. Um, I mean, hopefully that looks good because I have no idea, honestly. Okay. This is stressful. Oh my god, okay. Oh, 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 oh. let's blend this a little bit more. Keep blending. If you think you're done blending, just keep blending. Just keep blending, blending, just keep blending, blending. Okay. Does that look good? I don't know. Okay. So, oh, wait. Is the light contour say the thing that you're supposed to like highlight with? I don't even know if you can. I don't even know, don't if, even know if you would be able to. Is that why that didn't work? I don't even know what to use to blend it out. What? Try to use it Light and medium contour sticks. Oh, it's a medium contour stick, not a dark contour stick. <laughs> okay. Play with light and shadow to sculpt and define features. Apply light contour stick under eyes to center of forehead, bridge of nose, and to center of chin. Oh, again, didn't turn on the light. That's great. Okay. So, I'm back. Um, we went for the um, unthreaded a bushy extra long eyebrows today and I went in with the highlighter contour stick under my um, brow bone to highlight that okay so I already powdered it like colors and it's the look smoky okay of uh, thing it comes with uh, matte eyeshadow um, automatic or yeah automatic eyeliner mascara matte lipstick and blush um and then it says light contour right here so maybe it's like a, a palette with contour and blush and also this one has the same thing but this is the insta look nude so it has like a nude palette and it has eyeliner mascara the lipstick and it has um the blush so i'm going in with blush and i'm going to open them up to see which one i like better now and this is what it looks like uh, so it has like a light and contour palette right here. Light and I mean light and dark contour. Oh, it says highlight and contour. That's why. Okay. See the blush is kind of like an orangey peach, peachy blush, more of like a natural blush. This blush is a little more pinky. So I think I'll go in with this one. Well, but this one looks so good. Mm. Well, in person. Pinky one is like shimmery in person. I don't know if you can see that. It's like kind of shimmery. I don't know. Um, 
geez, I don't know what to do. Also, I left my powder brush over there. So let me go get that real quick. And we're back with the brush. Um, so I'm going to be going in with the, um, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, with the natural one. I think this is from the natural one. Like the one that's kind of like orangey, kind of peachy toned. I'm going to be going in with that one with the um, Eco Tools Powder Blush Brush. It looks like that. Also, I just want to point out how um, cheap this is. Um, like the blush. Look, I'm holding it straight, but look how it's like crooked. The highlighting contour is fine, but the blush. Hmm. Oh, it picks up. Look at that. Oh, I hope this, is, this might be really pigmented if it is. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... Oh, yep. There it is. And we're just going to keep blending because... <laughs> I just, it's not everywhere. But we're just gonna keep on blending. Keep on blending. And I really like to pat in um, my blush whenever I do it. I don't like to move it around because I feel like it disturbs the, um, the foundation underneath. Oh my god. This is pigmented. Very, very pigmented. Now, with a light hand, as to not disturb the foundation and powder and other stuff that's underneath. Ooh, look at that highlight, though. Um, we're going to be going in with a light swirling motion all over where you just put the blush. <sighs> oh, my God. I want to cry. This is so pigmented. I was not expecting that. Oh, my God. Now I look like a cloud. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're just going to keep blending, keep blending, keep blending. Okay. So, when you lose all hope, you're going to pull up your bra, and you're going to... Go back in with the foundation brush that you used, and you're just going to dab that where you contoured to at least clean it up some. Does that look better? We're going to go in on the same... We're going in the same thing on the other side. That's what I meant to say. Just like that, okay? And we're just going to pat some on the blush to kind of tone down the color a little bit, because geez, I was not expecting that! Oh, that was a burst of color! No. I did not do my eyebrows. Okay, that's it. I didn't do my eyebrows, and I'm probably not gonna do my eyebrows for a while. Ooh, look at all that. Ooh, ooh, look at all that. That looks rough. Ooh, okay. Mm. Going in with this banana shade right here. Okay, right off the bat, the pigment is not that good. Um, I mean, after the blush incident, I thought that maybe it was going to be more pigmented, but, um, I guess not. I'm going to use this one as my tra transition shade. This is so wet. We're going in with this this dark brown shade right here. Crease. We don't want to bring this up very high at all. We want it all like on the outer port and at a port. We want this all in the outer port and close to the crease as possible. Oh, if you don't have like the um like all those different shades of that color, then you want to at least start off with a base or like a transition shade, like um like a banana color or a light brown 
uh, something close to your skin tone so that way uh, you know you have something to blend it into take a little bit of foundation or concealer um, whatever you want I find that my foundation um, works best I've done this once and I use my foundation so we're using it again but I find foundation um, easier so that's what I did huh <laughs> see what I did there <laughs> anyway so you want to take like a little bit on the tip of your brush just a little bit okay you want to work with a little at a time okay how am I gonna do this uh, you I just got foundation all over my mirror oh my god in small increments okay Going in with the um, smoky palette, and I'm going in with this blue shade right here. Um, should I just go in blue, or should I go in with this and then the blue? I don't know. What do y'all think would pop more? Um, I guess I'm gonna do a base shade. So I'm going in with this large concealer brush from Wet n Wild and I'm going in with that white base shade all over the lid. Oh, this brush is wet too. Okay. We're gonna go in with the nude palette um, with this black. It's actually like a, like a kind of like a a light black maybe. I don't know. Here we're, gonna, we're gonna take a little bit. Remember, black is the devil's color. Okay, you gonna be very very careful when you work with black. Okay, you want just a little bit at a time. Don't get carried away. Don't do a lot. Get your work it, okay? Very, very carefully. Over the blue. There we go. Okay. This is actually this actually looks kinda good. Like I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks really good. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is going in with eyeliner next. I have a metallic um a matte and metallic eyeliner uh pack and it has some it has a metallic blue in here. And I'm thinking about doing that in my waterline, in my lower waterline, and then um, 
Maybe blending it out and smoking it out. And I love her lash line too. Here. And I'm going to use this to blend out the lower lash line. Ooh, what is that? Is that like a pencil? Okay, I'm just gonna do this off camera. So I brought this look back. Look how pretty! Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Like, I kind of want to blend out this lower lash line a little bit more, but like, I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay. As soon as I finish blending this out, my eyes are going to be done. And I think this is good. I mean, this eyeliner was bad for the upper lash line. I mean, can you just see how bad that is? I mean, I'm not the best at eyeliner, but it was a little chunky and it was like... I had to write on my hand multiple times to see if it was like, like it's not even that pigmented, like look. You see it's not that pigmented, um, but it was so good for the lower, la for the waterline. Oh, is that eyeliner in my eye? <laughs> That's funny. See, it was so good for that. Okay. Um, so I think I'm pretty much content with the eyes, like. This look turned around like lighter and lips. So we're gonna zoom. Mm -mm. We're gonna zoom out. We're gonna zoom out. Ooh, like who is that girl? Who is she? Mm -hmm. Okay, with some mascara. Let's see. We have the LA Colors Dramedy Dramedy Lash Mascara. Like, what is that? But, like, it looks promising. It's in a black pink, too. Hopefully the brush is good. Let's see. What? What is this brush? Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Part my lashes, because I don't need to, so get over it. Wait, is this kind of good? Y'all, this is kind of good. I can't even. This brush. This is good. Okay. I just got mascara all on my waterline. But. Okay, look at the difference. <sighs> okay, and we're back. Okay, so. I did my mascara. This is actually looking, this look is coming together. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, imagine, like, if I had some false lashes. I don't wear false lashes, but, like, just imagine if I did. Like, that would be so bomb. Okay. So it looks like that. Okay. Dark purple. This is one swatch. The LA Colors Matte Lipstick, and it comes in three colors. Next one, it's LA Colors Matte, and it's, like, a bright pink swatched one time purple pinkish color but what I'm going to do is I'm going in I'm going to go in oh but what I was saying was um yeah these aren't super pigmented these aren't obviously the best lipsticks ever but these are super affordable and it makes a great gift for someone that really likes makeup like me because you have a lot of options you have stuff to work with and then if you like a color or if you like something then um you know what works for you so you're able to go and spend that extra money because you know you like it um so i'm going in with the um nude but then i'm going over with the gloss so i'll be right back to go get that and i'm back okay so i'm going in with the la colors um matte lipstick in the set um, LA Colors Insta Look Nudes in this. This is the lipstick that I'm using. My lips are so crusty. Y'all, I know, okay? I know. I should have exfoliated, but I didn't, so whatever. So we're going in. Oh my 
my god, this is about to die! Okay, hold on, real fast, before you go, I'm gonna put in um, some lip gloss, Marvelous Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie, and I'm gonna put this on. Ooh! Don't die! And that finishes the lip look, okay? So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Comment down below what is your favorite cheap makeup brand, what's your favorite cheap makeup product. Comment that down below. And if you really like this look, um, send me your recreations of it on my Snapchat. And if you um, post it on your Instagram, use the hashtag um, Gabby Christmas Makeup. And I will see it and reply to it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. 